is a beam of light a wave or a succession of particles we call photons? Can it be both? The wave nature of light was demonstrated by Thomas Young in 1801 in the precursor to the double slit experiment. This view was reinforced in 1865 by Maxwell's prediction that light carries energy in oscillating electric and magnetic fields. A little more than 20 years later, Heinrich Hertz used sparking electric circuits to demonstrate the reality of electromagnetic waves in the radio frequency range. A turning point occurred in 1900 when German physicist Max Planck hypothesized that radiant energy was emitted and absorbed in discrete bundles, each of which he called a quantum. According to Planck, the energy in each energy bundle is proportional to the frequency of radiation. Planck imagined that the energy of matter changes by quantum amounts. He didn't yet see what Einstein saw five years later, that light itself comes in quantum bundles, which we now call photons. We've seen this relationship before. When the energy of a photon is divided by its wave frequency, a constant value of 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus 34th joules seconds occurs. So the proportion becomes where h is called Planck's constant. The equation E equals hf gives the smallest amount of energy that can be converted to light with frequency f. Interestingly, the equation E equals hf can get personal. It tells us why microwave radiation can't do the damage to molecules in living cells that ultraviolet light and x-rays can do. First of all, when photons interact with atomic particles, they transfer their energy to the material and break chemical bonds. In doing so, they dislodge one or more electrons from an atom in the material, causing ionization. Ionization causes cell damage. Inside every cell is DNA that determines how a cell performs. Damage to DNA is serious and can lead to cancer. The photons that make up mobile phone radiation are only some four millionths of an electron volt per photon. The minimum energy to damage DNA is at least four electron volts per photon. That corresponds to a radiation frequency of 10 to the 15th hertz, about a million times greater than the microwave frequencies of mobile phones. So the radiation associated with cell phones cannot produce the ionization that causes cancer. Why? Electromagnetic radiation interacts with matter only in discrete bundles or photons. So the relatively low frequency of microwaves, about 10 to the 10th hertz, ensures low energy per photon, too low to cause ionization. Likewise, for microwave photons from cell phones and Wi-Fi. Nice to know about that. Ultraviolet is a million times greater in frequency, 10 to the 16th hertz, and X-rays with a hundred times greater frequency, 10 to the 17th hertz. In short, radiation in the microwave region is a million times too low in frequency to create mutant strands of DNA. But higher frequency waves are another story. Note in the chart that microwave radiation centers around 10 to the 10th hertz, and ultraviolet is a million times more, centering around 10 to the 16th hertz. This means ultraviolet photons, a million times higher in frequency than microwave photons, can zap a molecule with a million times more energy. X-rays with still higher frequencies can deliver even more energy. So in terms of the relatively low operating frequency of mobile phone radiation, if there is harm, look elsewhere than the energy of its photons. So we see that light is emitted as photons, with each photon throbbing at a frequency f and carrying an energy, hf. Low frequency, low energy. Evidence for the particle nature of light, interestingly, the view of light held by Isaac Newton, was convincingly demonstrated in the photoelectric effect, the subject of our next lesson.
Then we'll go on to show that beams of electrons, or for that matter, beams of any kind of particles, have wave properties. We'll see that the quantum world is an intriguing place. For now, I want to leave you with a question. How does the equation E equals HF relate to whether radiation from a mobile phone can lead to cancer? Until next time, good energy. Mm -hmm.